I was browsing through the um, MSN feeds and one article caught my eye. It's from The Mirror and the article is by Ashley Rainbird and it's entitled Rolling Stone Ronnie Wood Goes Out of This World at NASA HQ Trip. And here we have Ronnie Wood of the Rolling Stones floating in a space capsule. But the funny thing about this picture is he's not on the ISS or anywhere up in space, but he's in Houston, Texas, in some NASA lab. Further down, you see Ronnie posing with the uh, with the spacesuit, and then he's in a cockpit with his wife, and the uh, instruments look very like nineteen seventies. Um, the Millennium Falcon has better controls, in my opinion. And on a separate note, uh, I was go uh, I was looking at the, uh, the NASA website, and there's a section about uh, International Space Station where they do tours of the station, and one in particular caught my eye. Uh, it's by Sonny Williams, and if I just play the video. Right, she's at the cupola or the observation deck and she's looking out uh, to the earth and more or less she can see the whole of the earth from uh, like 250 miles, you know. Uh, their own math tells us that from 250 mile height you can only see 3%. So, how is she able to uh, see the whole of the Earth? Well, what's happening is uh, NASA is using state-of-the-art special effects. What they do is that NASA are innovators, inventors of, uh, of special effects, and then they pass it on to Hollywood after a few years. Anyway, if you do some simple research, you'll find that space is fake and there is absolutely nothing in the sky. There's, there are no satellites, no ISS. And I will link the article from MSN in the description box. Thanks very much for watching.